In 2022, with funding from Resembid, CCMI and Dr. Bruno from the University of North Carolina collaborated to enhance coral reef restoration success in the face of climate change. Their goal? Understanding if different genes in Acropora corals affect their tolerance to warming waters and subsequent bleaching. The CCMI team also investigated whether the corals with increased thermal tolerance showed better growth and survival rates when transplanted back out onto the reef. For years, scientists have sought a super coral with genetic resilience to threats like warming oceans. This research aimed to identify resilient coral genotypes, crucial for successful restoration in the face of future challenges like warming waters and coral diseases. Building on CCMI's pioneering coral restoration work since 2011, the project used corals from the coral nursery to study how specific genotypes tolerate higher ocean temperatures. Lab experiments conducted at our Little Cayman Research Center measured key traits under different thermal conditions. The 2023 bleaching event, whilst devastating, also provided real-world validation of our findings in wild-planted corals. Lab experiments revealed a genotype with the highest heat tolerance. However, some high-temperature tolerant genotypes showed lower growth rates and increased disease susceptibility. No single super coral emerged. Instead, a mix of genotypes with different traits is crucial for overall resilience. So what does this mean for coral restoration in the future? To boost resilience, restoration practitioners should stock coral nurseries with a diverse genetic pool of coral colonies to survive the complex stressors in a changing ocean. Understanding genetic makeup is vital for future restoration success. As climate change impacts intensify, successful coral restoration becomes paramount. More climate resilient projects offer hope for saving coral reefs by enhancing diversity, providing habitat, and aiding natural coral settlement. This buys time for these vulnerable ecosystems to adapt while global climate action and marine conservation efforts continue. <laughs>